Good morning. Just one minute till the 609. That sounds funny, but that's the exact time I got on this thing yesterday. It was a lot darker outside yesterday. Such a great storm. Such a tremendous rain. I mean, to me, rain is like a cleansing. You always feel terrific during it, after it. You breathe better. The smells are just great. The birds are happy. They're singing. It's like taking this shower without even getting wet and you just feel wonderful after a rain gets a little soggy to walk in I have to towel Daisy off when we get done to bring her in here heard some thunder back in the west 15 20 minutes ago but looks like the sky is clearing up pretty good just sitting here thinking that what could be better than a pickup truck sitting in your driveway you know for me I guess most of my adult years have been all about pickup trucks. Man, just, they're just so great. I guess it's <laughs> an intelligence thing, you know. My intelligence level is slightly above, above Barney Fife and maybe a little bit below Forrest Gump. So what do I really know? I, I meet people that think they're so smart and I must admit I've had a lot of interest in my life and I uh, I start asking the right questions and they they just kind of walk away because even those people that think they're so smart don't have all the answers But what's better than a pickup truck on my intelligence level and the way I'm thinking this morning is a time machine that would be amazing just to put on my socks and boots and go crank it up and dial in a date and just go there the date that I would crank up is July 5th 1982 I'd park that baby at the Gladewater Lake swimming area and I'd get out just like I got out of that my truck and that day and took off my cowboy boots my shirt my wallet stuff out of my pocket and headed out in that water and I swam out turned around was swimming back underwater and bumped into something came up for air and came up in Inside a big tractor inner tube with the uh, love of my life I came up and we were face to face and eye to eye and I could tell you the words I said but you probably wouldn't believe them But that was the beginning of 
my thought process from July 5th to 1982 till today. That was a long time ago. I remember July 4th. We had a big fireworks party down in the Sabine River bottoms. And we set the woods on fire. The fire trucks were trying to get down there. A big fire department water truck actually turned over going across the railroad tracks. We just jumped in our 4 by 4s and headed out through the Sabine River bottoms, through the swamps. Made it out. Slept in my truck that night. Took straight off to Gladewater Lake. Yeah, met someone very special to me. You know, a lot of you would say, well, Pat, that's living in the past. That's no good. Well, memories are good. But it's right in a way to put those things behind you. Because they just don't get you anywhere. Memories do not motivate me. Only life does. I pretty much just messed off the whole year of 2017 so far. Haven't accomplished much. Need to get out of the slump and start doing something again. Just things are so unclear nowadays. What's real, what's not real. The news you hear, is it true, is it not true? But one thing, it's real. Memories are real because they've, they've been done. So in a lot of ways, we have to rely on those memories to, to know what was real and what isn't real. There's so many lies today, so much deceit deception, the evil world of politics we live in, fear of the future, fear of death and fear of life. But those are things that we just have to deal with on a daily basis and live it like this could be the last day. When you get my age, you don't count in decades anymore. You, you get down to years and days and months. And that's fine. That's where the memories come in. You've done a lot, Pat Minner. And I pray God gives me a chance to do some more. Y'all have a great Sunday morning. Signing off.